Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Zero Excuses Podcast. My name is Kenny Nzitska. Thanks for tuning in. You're listening to the latest edition of my Deacons of Discipline series. This is a short show that I bring to you every Monday and Friday where I share with you a soundbite or a snippet from a powerful influencer, break it down for you here into some actionable, practical steps that you can implement into your life immediately after you get done listening to this show. And today what I wanted to talk with you guys about is Parkinson's Law. And simply stated, Parkinson's Law is work expands to the time that we give it. And this law was named after, obviously, the person who, uh, who first stated it, Cyril Northout Parkinson, who was a British naval historian, an author, and, and someone who published over 60 books during his lifetime. And he was also heavily involved in academia related to public administration and management. Uh, he first described this law in 1955 in The Economist, as actually a humorous article, but it gained traction as a practical law that can be applied in many different situations, whether in uh, everyday life or project management or schoolwork, whatever it may be. This is a very universal uh, law, but but I can spend spend probably an hour talking about uh, uh, Mr. Parkinson here. But I want to start talking about some practical applications here. I assume that. Pretty much everyone listening to this podcast right now has gone through at least high school or college. Uh, if you guys have ever procrastinated on that school project, that term paper, and spent that night before cranking out this project and actually have it turn out right, this is, this is an example of Parkinson's Law in effect. Because you've compressed the time that you gave yourself to, to accomplish this project yeah, you procrastinated, yeah, you let it drag out. But at the end of the day, you gave yourself a very tight window to get this done, and you got it done. Uh, another example might be pulling off that presentation that you had to give in front of your coworkers or even at school. When the only preparation that you had was looking at the flashcards uh, while you're sitting in traffic in your car <laughs> right before the presentation itself. I mean, that's, that's another good example there. By doing that, that causes you to focus on the most essential tasks to get you the result that you need. So I want to illustrate this, these examples so that we can uh, start thinking of ways that we can actually purposely take advantage of this law without obviously uh, leaving ourselves a little margin at the, end of, uh, at the end of the road here. But uh, the first practical step that I have is set deadlines for everything. You know, challenge yourself even in the uh, even in the most simple tasks like writing a simple email, like a two three sentence uh, email, see if you can uh, crank it out in thirty seconds or whatever it may be, and then keep track of those things. I mean, you can also turn this into a game with yourself, or even uh, get some friends involved with it. Everything's better when you get some uh, get some good friends involved. My second practical piece of advice applying Parkinson's law is to take breaks. Uh, you can combine this law with the Pomodoro technique, which basically says you can work intensely for 40 to 50 minutes and then take a 10 to 20 minute break. What that's going to do is it's also going to compress the time that you give yourself to accomplish whatever task that you had allotted during that that hour time block. You know, this has been that combining Parkinson's Law with the Pomodoro Technique has been a total game changer, and I've been extremely, extremely productive uh, combining those two, uh, I guess, techniques or laws. And I highly recommend that you guys implement that in your day-to-day life, no matter whether you're at work or in your uh, trying to get stuff done around the house. And then my last and third um, bit of advice is to always hot wash up um, those major tasks at least. Um, always compare what you projected your time to be with the actual amount of time that you spent on particular tasks. And then ask why. Were you checking email, Facebook? Were you dragging this off? Were you procrastinating? You always have to humble yourself to recognize those areas that you maybe fall short in and can can improve moving forward. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to... Uh, subscribe, rate, and share this 
this podcast with your friends and family on on iTunes or Stitcher or Google Play, wherever you listen to this podcast at. Uh, go ahead and share it with your friends and family who might get some value out of listening to the topics that we talk about here. And also don't forget to join our close Facebook group over at facebook.com slash groups slash zero excuses. We've got over uh, almost 450 people in the group now. And if you're really, really looking to take these conversations to the next level and really want to implement these strategies and take the action necessary to live life on your terms and get control over your time, build your wealth, improve your health. Encourage you to, number one, check out our Infinite Results Mastermind Group. We've really been kicking this into high gear this year, laying out our visions and breaking that down into some actionable strategies. You can check that out at kennyandziska.com slash results. And if a group setting isn't your style and you want to have that one-on-one individualized attention and customized solutions, I also have a one-on-one discipline coaching program. This is only for people who want to take that massive action and invest the time, energy, and resources into reaching their goals and really just grabbing life by the balls and owning it. Uh, you can check that out at kennyandziska.com slash discipline. Uh, you'll sh- fill out a short survey and have the opportunity to schedule a 60-minute uh, consultation with me to see if we're a good fit to work together, and we'll take it from there. All right, guys, thanks again for tuning in, and I will talk with you guys again on Monday.